again, guys, the composition, there's another way to write composition, which you guys can see on the board. But we have g of x is equal to square root of x minus 1. Something that we've already talked about in this class or worked on is if I want to evaluate g of you know, 5, then you just plug in the 5 for the x, correct? Yes, right? And what if I said, why don't you plug in you know, x plus 1? Well, then what do we plug in for the x? x plus 1. So if I say g of h of x, what are, guess what we're going to plug in for the, for the x? h of x. I know it looks a lot more confusing than if I just gave you a number 5, but you guys can see it's the same thing. The only difference in this case, though, is we actually have a defined h of x. h of x in this case, as we've written in there, sorry about that, right in there, h of x is 2x minus 2. So now I'm going to plug in h of x, which is 2x minus 2 minus 1. And then I just go ahead and simplify, which is 2x minus 3. So there's a couple things that are important when you're doing the composition. So um, to revamp, when we added, subtracted, or multiplied, we just combined the two domains, right? Just found the intersection of the domains. When you divided, you found the intersection of the, their division, basically, and of their each original domain as they are. When you're finding the domain restriction, when you're finding the domain of a composition, you need to find, you need to keep in mind the original function that you're plugging into the other function, so h of x. We're good here, though, because this is all real numbers, right? So there's no domain restrictions. And then once you've plugged it in, we got to be able to find the domain restriction here. And based on what we know about finding the domain restriction for a radical, we know that here we're just going to take the radicand and set it greater than or equal to 0. And for the sake of time, I will solve that as x is greater than or equal to 3 halves. And then, ladies and gentlemen, we can just re rewrite that as 3 halves to infinity. Yes, no, maybe, so.